Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to be making another retro recipe. If you haven't seen my other retro recipe attempts, I'll put a link down below to the playlist. Today, I'm going to be making a cheesecake, but with a can of cheese soup. A can of Campbell's cheese soup. Now, I first saw this recipe recently. There was a book sale in our town and there was an old Campbell's soup recipe book and it had this cheesecake. I saw it and I said, well, that's interesting. I didn't even know Campbell's soup had a cheese flavored soup. And then I proceeded to leave the book at the sale, but the recipe would not leave me. And I went back the next day to look for the book and I couldn't find it. But Thankfully, we have the internet and I was able to find the recipe. It is dated from 1973. It is called the Super Cheesecake. Super as in S-O-U-P-E-R cheesecake. And I really am curious to see how this tastes. I like cheesecake. I've made many cheesecakes at this point. I've made a Japanese cheesecake, the fluffy version. I've made an instant pot cheesecake. I've made instant cheesecake. I've made a cremora tart, which looks just like a cheesecake made out of powdered milk. What other? I believe, I, I think I've made a Velveeta cheese cheesecake. <laughs> Made a lot of cheesecakes, and now we're going to taste the Campbell's Soup Cheese Cheesecake. So, as most cheesecake recipes go, there needs to be some refrigeration prior to consumption. So, let me walk you through the steps of what I've done so far. As far as cheesecake styles go, this is more like a New York style cheesecake. We have a graham cracker crust, so we need to make the crust first. You're going to take one cup of graham cracker crumbs and combine that with a quarter cup of melted butter. Mix that all together until all the crumbs are nice and moistened, and then dump them into a nine inch springform pan and press them out into a single layer. I like using a measuring cup, but you can use anything that has a nice flat bottom to press the crumbs down evenly so you get a nice even crust. So set your crust aside and now we're going to prepare the filling. So I had a bunch of cream cheese that I needed to use up and this recipe was perfect for that. So next you're gonna take 12 ounces of cream cheese and make sure it's at room temperature and use a hand mixer and beat this until everything is nice and smooth on medium speed. So now you're gonna add three eggs, one at a time, and you're gonna alternate the additions with your sugar. So egg, sugar, egg, sugar, egg. Mix that all really well so the sugar is incorporated. And then we're going to add one can of Campbell's cheese soup. This is what it looks like. This is the cheddar cheese soup. So this is condensed milk and you would add one can of milk to this to have a cheese soup. They also suggest making it as kind of a macaroni style dish. You can add it with some pasta. So I've never had this before and when I opened it, I was surprised to see the bright orange color. I don't know why because macaroni and cheese is orange, but somehow I imagined it being more like a bechamel, like a white sauce. At any rate, I dumped that all in there. Then I added one teaspoon of lemon zest and two tablespoons of lemon juice. And then you're going to mix this again until everything is well incorporated. So adding the lemon juice was pretty cool because it thickened the mixture. It reacted with the proteins in the cream cheese and in the cheese soup, and it really thickened the mixture. So then when everything is well blended, we're gonna pour this into our prepared crust and then pop it into a preheated 350 degree oven and bake for about an hour until the edges are puffed up and the middle is set, yet jiggly. You don't wanna over bake this, you just wanna make sure that it is jiggly, but you can touch it and that it is set. So remove it from the oven, cool it on a rack, and then chill it for at least four hours before serving. So this is where we're at now. The cheesecake is chilling in the refrigerator, and I'm very curious to see how it tastes. <laughs> yeah, so I gave this a taste while I was baking it and it wasn't as cheesy as I expected. It was kind of more dairied, so definitely had enough salt in it. So the recipe, as you noticed, did not require any salt because this has plenty in there. Alrighty, let me go grab the cheesecake. So here is our cool cheesecake. Dun, 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 dun. It has a bright yellow color to it and I did have some cracking and there was a little hole here and one of these cracks was made by me. I did check the temperature of this 
and made sure that it was at least at 150 degrees. That's what I read is the temperature of a cooked cheesecake. So I want to make sure that this was completely baked. I'm going to use my offset spatula here and just go around the perimeter, kind of loosen things up. Now I like cheesecake. As a child, I remember not liking it at all, but I do like it now. Although I just take very small slices of it because it is very rich. And now I'm going to release the spring foam pan. All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> there is our yellow cheesecake. <laughs> Can you see that? Okay. I'm going to clean up the edges just a little bit, smooth the edges out using the spatula. I'm going to clean off the edges a bit, kind of smooth them out. It's always nice when a cake cooperates with you, you know? All right, clean this off. All righty, there's the cheesecake. Dean, 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 dean. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's too bad it has that big crack in it. But it looks pretty good besides that big fat crack. But there you have it. It looks a bit like a pumpkin cheesecake. It has a very orange cast to it. But let me get a couple pictures and then we'll give this a taste. Alrighty, let's give the super cheesecake a taste. So it looks, it doesn't look half bad. It doesn't look half bad. Although the orange color, the yellow color really, is a little unusual for a cheesecake. It almost looks more like a pumpkin cheesecake. Let's see how it slices. Not bad. Alrighty. Alrighty, let's give this a taste. Itadakimasu. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's definitely a, a no for me. <laughs> I think the first thing that I noticed is that this has a lemony flavor. We put two tablespoons of lemon juice in this and the zest of one lemon. So it has a very pronounced lemony flavor and it tastes like lemon yogurt. It even has a little bit of a tang to it. And besides that, it almost has a yogurty texture too. It's kind of soft and slightly grainy. And I don't taste any of the cheese soup. Mm hmm at all but I don't really taste the cream cheese either it's definitely got some salt to it but the predominant flavor is a lemon which I actually like I love lemon yogurt I just don't associate that lemony flavor with a cheesecake the flavor of the crust is very familiar we've just got graham crackers and butter after all but the texture is a little bit kind of soft and crumbly and I think that has to do with the fact that we did not par bake this at all we didn't chill the crust at all so it's kind of got kind of a mushy texture as does the entire cake the cake portion also tastes kind of mushy slightly grainy and 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 not very good <laughs> not horrible it's definitely edible it's just not something that I would make again and not something that I associate in terms of classic flavors of a cheesecake. Although if you do like lemon, you might like this version of a cake, but if you're gonna make a cheesecake, why not make it a tasty one in my opinion? You know, um, yeah. So not only does this recipe not work for me in terms of flavor, but it doesn't work for me in terms of texture either. It's just too soft and mushy. And while it does slice all right, it doesn't have that really creamy density that I associate with a New York style cheesecake. All right, my lovelies, yet yeah, another recipe that I tried so you didn't have to. It's the super cheesecake made with Campbell's cheddar cheese 
So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. for that.